Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It's Monday, the 22nd day of May, International Being You Day. You know what? You're really good at being you. It's always a good day to be you. It is. And you're really good at it, Heidi. You're so good at being you. Uh, International (laughs) Day for Biological Diversity Day, National Craft Distillery Day, World Paloma Day, National Solitaire Day. I love playing solitaire. I do too. It's like a digital game that I have on my phone, but I I like playing the actual card version better. Me too. But I haven't played that in years. Uh-uh. I play the digital one once in a while. Usually on a flight when I have no That's data. That's just it. When there's like, nothing okay, else to do, play, let's I'm break out the solitaire. solitaire. It's like the only <laughs> time I do it. World Goth Day, National Vanilla Puddin' Day, uh, National Buy a Musical Instrument Day, and National Maritime Day. All of those things happening on this Movie Star Monday. Going to chat with Yul Vasquez, Runaway Bride, Bad Boys 2, War of the Worlds, American Gangster, The A-Team, Captain Phillips. I mean... That's a great list. And he's got a new one that just recently came out, The Godfather of Harlem. Going to chat all about that coming up. What a year. With prices on everything going up, it's more important than ever to have a better credit card. Some people use a credit card that's not a very good one. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Many Gen Z workers don't know the meaning behind many common workplace phrases, things like bite the bullet and back to the salt mines. According I, to a I new don't study. Either. <laughs> oh, you don't? Have you heard them, though? I've heard those, okay. but I don't know the origins of Visualization them. Visualization platform Rethinkly discovered that those under the age of 26 and Heidi are more comfortable with language things like uh, quiet quitting and no. take this offline rather than phrases that many other people use, things like cut the mustard or flogging a dead horse or throwing in the towel okay, or I wanna just, burning the midnight oil. I know these phrases, but I don't know the origins of these phrases. How about sleeping dogs lie, leaving sleeping dogs or what's the beef? Yeah. They made the list of phrases Gen Z didn't understand. Oh, they don't understand. Yeah. Okay. So you don't necessarily I need to know, know the origin, Okay. Uh, but the you know that they didn't understand. So there you go. If you don't understand them, <laughs> I wish I had more time to explain them, but I don't. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at Genesis Gold. GoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Heidi, did you know sharing a bed ruins the quality of your sleep? Sleep experts uh, and CEO of Mattress Next Day, Martin Seeley. Oh, you see? See what he's doing? He's putting out a, I see what he's getting doing. Getting his info out there. He yeah. says, sleeping with a partner can cause you to wake regularly throughout the night, which can also lead to sleep deprivation. I disagree completely. I sleep Worse better if you're not yeah in the room. i sleep better when i am sleeping with you because if if i'm in like in a hotel or if you're gone somewhere and that part of the bed is empty it just feels weird i'm yeah. like what what's going on i just so maybe that's just me i don't know it says even if you don't wake up regularly from disruptions you can still have a, a negative impact on the quality of your sleep because it'll interrupt your sleep cycle so you can't slip into a more restorative state What's more, if you share a bed, you're more likely to put yourself in an uncomfortable cramped position and you're more likely to get your uh, get ill if your partner is sick. Here's what you need. Just get a bigger bed. If you're, you guys are sharing a twin-size bed, that might be the problem. <laughs> Maybe this guy only smell, uh, sells tiny beds. That's his issue. I don't know. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Jeopardy host Ma'am Balink decided to sit out for a game show uh, filming because of the writer's strike. Ken Jennings actually replaced her. Now, here's the thing. The, the show was already written. 
They had written the this, this show. All the clues were done before the strike started May 2nd, but they hadn't filmed anything. Okay. So she said, you know what? I'm going to, I'm not going to film. We're going to, I'll just be a part, you know, I'll not be a part of this one. So he does it. He said, I'll do it. <laughs> He's like, I want to be the full-time host. I'll do it. The book club can't topple comic books at the box office as Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy 3 easily held off the opening of Book Club, the next chapter, to retain the top spot. So I didn't know either of those were movies. I had to wait till I read the rest of the story for any of that first sentence to make sense. <laughs> and uh, David Tennant's Doctor is back in the trailer for three upcoming Doctor Who specials celebrating the 60th anniversary of the popular TV series. I've got a link if you want to read all the details on that. Fast and the Furious is on its road towards its end with Fast X, even though Vin Diesel surprised everybody saying there's going to be two more movies. Apparently, they want this 10th installment to be a big, big, big deal. It's back in theaters right now. I wonder if they're saying that Vin wants two more, but we're done at 10. Maybe that's what they're trying to say. I can honestly say I have not seen a single one of those films. I've seen, yeah, I've seen some. 10 is probably a good round number, but he's going, I got two more ideas. Let's do two more. <laughs> and it's like, this is all I got. Let me have two more. <laughs> All right, scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If it's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring in your current phone. iPhones and Samsung phones both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. NBC Universal announced that revenues fell by over seven hundred and four million dollars in the first quarter of twenty twenty three. Oh, that's you're a big gonna, drop. You're going to notice that on the bottom line right there. I don't know what the regular numbers are, but yeah. for me that would be devastating. For me that would change. <laughs> like we wouldn't even be able to serve coffee anymore. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, seven hundred four million dollars down Whoa. in the first quarter. Jeepers. We don't make that much in all four quarters. <laughs> <laughs> or if you add up, you know, four or five quarters plus four or five more quarters. All right, there's an app that allows drivers to turn their phone into a breathalyzer. That's kind of a neat idea. That but is. Here's my question: If you get this app and then you do this and you go, "Hey, I'm good to go," and then you drive and then you get pulled over and you're not good to go, and the app was wrong, that could be really bad. So whoever's doing this, they must have a really good system in place. Because can you imagine how bad it would be if you say, well, my phone said I was good to drive, but then you get pulled over and you find out you're not? That would be bad. Wendy's Restaurants will be testing an artificial intelligence-powered chatbot this coming month that will take drive through orders, becoming the latest fast food chain to employ the new technology. System powered by Google Cloud's AI software will, according to the company, be as natural as talking to an employee and will not only be able to understand speech, it will also have the ability to answer frequently asked questions. Wendy's is one of the several restaurants incorporating AI and automation while dealing with a labor shortage all across the country. Additionally, drive throughs have surged in popularity during the pandemic, with the chain saying 80% of their customers now prefer ordering that way. So... I can see where that's going to probably get more and more common. Can, can you imagine that really being more popular? Uh, well, and I think a lot of this, honestly, they can say it's because of COVID, but I think a lot of this is coming from the, the higher demand of wages. Yeah. And it's just well, getting too Well, there's definitely a expensive. correlation. Yeah, definitely a correlation. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. InsuranceChicken.com wants to know, how much are you paying for your insurance? I know it seems like a hassle to switch to a different company, but if you can save a few bucks 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 it's worth crossing the road to insurancechicken.com we have several of the top insurance companies trying to earn your business they do that by offering great insurance that is cheap 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 okay enough of the silly chicken puns it's time to get serious about saving you money on your insurance at insurancechicken.com that's insurancechicken.com thank you for listening to the john and heidi show on a movie star monday our guest today yule vazquez runaway bride bad boys 2 war of the worlds american gangster the team i mean the list goes on and on and on he's got a new project the third season is out right now it's called the godfather of harlem and i was reading here yule this is based on a true story it is it's the story of, of uh, yeah of bumpy johnson a very famous harlem harlem gangster that, that's correct 
And sometimes, like, truth is stranger than fiction because this is such an amazing story. It's an amazing story, period. But when you watch it and realize that it's based on a true story, it's even more amazing, isn't it? Oh, it it is. It it sure is. I always, I'm like you, that that always, you know, they say, you know, they say truth truth is stranger than fiction, man. And and it's really true. Uh, The story of Bumpy Johnson and that whole crew up there at at that time is, is an unbelievable story, you know? And Bumpy is played by Forrest Whitaker in this project, and and Forrest seems like a wonderful guy. Is he a pretty good guy to work with? Uh, maybe maybe the greatest I've ever worked with. Yeah. And and you've had a chance to work with yeah. some pretty great but, people uh, over the course of your career. You've had a chance to work with a lot of wonderful people. And this new project, again, Godfather uh, Harlem, tells a story of Bumpy Johnson in the 1960s. Are you anything at all like your character in this project? No, I play a, another real life guy called Jose Battle, who's a, a, a a Cuban gangster, which is, is, a, is a story, again, a lot of people don't know that story either, but my connection really to Jose Battle is, is that my, my he was in the Bay of Pigs invasion, and my Uncle Ray was in the Bay of Pigs invasion, so oh. it's a personal line for me, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, that's a connection, but Jose Battle's a fascinating guy. Uh, there's a great book about him came out, you know, a few years ago. Uh, but nobody's ever played this guy ever on any screen, so when this opportunity came up, I really, I, I jumped at it. That is fantastic. Are you anything like that character in real life or not at all? I'm, I'm nothing like Jose Battle, no. <laughs> you, you <laughs> no. Get, you're really good at playing a bad guy, though, aren't you? You know, I, I'll tell you, they're fun. You know, I think, uh, in my experience, uh, with, with the guys I know, most of the actors that you see playing really bad guys are usually the most the nicest guys and the most, and, the, and fun guys. You know, they're not, they're, you know, you know, it's all, it's all two sides of the same coin. So you know, that's that's usually usually those guys are usually the best the best bad guys. And this project now, we're just getting ready for season three. And I, when I say getting ready, we're getting ready. We're watching season three right now. But the first two seasons have been out for a while. How long have you been working on this particular project, Godfather of Harlem? I, I come into Godfather of Harlem in season three. So it, it, they introduced this character. In episode two, so it is a it becomes a but it becomes a uh, a key storyline uh, as you'll as you'll see in how ha- in, in how he integrates with with Bumpy's world. And when you came on board, this has already been a, a bit of a success. People are watching it, so that's got to be kind of a fun thing to get a call and say, "Hey, we want you to be a part of this this project that's already doing really well, and you're going to add to it and make it even better." Oh well, well, thank you. Yes, it is. It, it's a it's a it's a great honor. You know what I mean? Um, you know, uh, I knew. You know, I'd worked with Forrest years ago. He had directed me in a film. You know what I mean? But um, you know, uh, I never had a chance to act with him. And then I've always wanted to work with uh, Chris Chris Brancato. I I've loved the things he's made, and uh, and and Michael Payne, the other um, writer EP, and and. And Paul Eckstein and that whole team, you know, Dean Imperial, the, all these guys are great, you know. But yeah, it, it, and it really starts there with the writing, you know. If, if it's if it's not if you read it and it's not good, it's tough. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Well, I again, looks like a phenomenal program, and I'm excited to see Season 3 is out right now. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us about it today. My friend, thank you so much for having me. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Absolutely. Again, our guest today has been Yul Vazquez, and the film... Absolutely. Again, our guest today has been Yul Vazquez, and the project we were talking about is his new show, Godfather of Harlem. He's in season three, which just recently premiered. Now, if you want to watch season one and two, you can still catch those on the Epix app, or you can actually pick them up on Hulu as well. And season three is available on MGM+. Plus. I've got a link to all of the information and to a trailer for season three in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Thanks for listening. To the John and Heidi Show on a Movie Star Monday. What a year. With prices on everything going up, it's more important than ever to have a better credit card. Some people use a credit card that's not a very good one. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Overly tight ponytails and man buns will cause a bald spot. 
Ooh. So for women and for men, if your ponytail or your man bun is too tight, it'll cause a bald spot. Oh. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Rabbits can growl and hiss and purr like a cat. I didn't know that. Really? I've I guess never heard one do me that. Me neither. <laughs> we, don't hang, we don't hang around rabbits enough. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Depending on who is sniffing, a man's sweat can smell like urine, flowers, vanilla, or just sweat. So, uh, okay. okay. Fun fact for you, Heidi. <laughs> What's that, John? In the classic novel, Frankenstein's creature clearly states that he is a vegetarian. It does. Yeah, from like way back in the day. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Bees can fly higher than Mount Everest. That's pretty cool. Okay. Several fun facts. Five of them. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question, Heidi. 14% of kids under the age of 12 say they think this is the hardest thing about being a mommy. What is it? <laughs> I agree with the kids. <laughs> the hardest thing about being a mommy so is this. So kids say this is the hardest thing about being a mommy? 14% of kids say this is the hardest thing about being a mommy. I, I honestly don't know what Taking they care of dad. <laughs> oh. You yeah. kids, you're right. It's 100% right. 14%. What do the rest of you guys think? <laughs> Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If it's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring in your current phone. iPhones and Samsung phones both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now, some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. A solo dining restaurant has just opened in Toronto, Ontario. <laughs> uh, Yunnan Noodle Shack bills itself as the city's first solitary dining restaurant. That doesn't mean you're allowed to come and eat alone. That means it's the only option. Chef and owner Andy Sue says that everything about the place, including the atmosphere, the music, the service, and even the food, are all just background. And the restaurant is there to let you have a conversation with yourself. What? Yeah, solo diners will drop in to see 25 individual wooden dining stations set up in rows where dividers separate them from the next diner. That seems weird, doesn't it? That is so weird. A framed QR code brings up a menu. A set of buttons on the table has options for bill, call, water. You can also order and pay online. So if you're eating alone, what do you do to stay occupied? Well, you can place your phone into a holder and stream Netflix or YouTube while you're eating. What? Why would I you do this? I don't know. I'm not saying it's a popular place. I'm saying it's a place. All right. And it's also Weird News, brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Our list today, uh, the 10 best and the 10 worst cities for supernatural creatures and events. Ooh. <laughs> All right. We'll do the 10 best first. If you're if you're looking to find some supernatural stuff, number 10, Las Vegas. I would have thought that would have been higher on the really? list. Nine, Indianapolis, Dallas, San Antonio, Philadelphia, New Orleans. San Diego comes in at number four. Number three, Chicago. Number two place to see supernatural weird stuff, New York. And the number one is Los Angeles. This, by the way, is things like Bigfoot sightings, haunted houses, paranormal conventions. Now let's look at the worst places to find this stuff. Number 10, Lakewood, Colorado. Nine, Boise, Idaho. Surprise, Arizona. Orange, California. Olathe, Kansas. Overland Park, Kansas. Uh, Hampton, Virginia. Number three, Honolulu, Hawaii. Number two, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And the number one worst place to find paranormal things, West Valley City, Utah. So huh. if you're going to make the list of things to not find, I guess that's the list of make. I, I guess it's so. Where you, the least likely places to find to weird be things. To haunted. <laughs> it's such a, I've got the list in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com.
InsuranceChicken.com wants to know, how much are you paying for your insurance? I know it seems like a hassle to switch to a different company, but if you can save a few bucks, 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 it's worth crossing the road to InsuranceChicken.com. We have several of the top insurance companies trying to earn your business. They do that by offering great insurance that is cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay, enough of the silly chicken puns. It's time to get serious about saving you money on your insurance at InsuranceChicken.com. That's InsuranceChicken.com. Now your quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Billy Sunday said, Going to church doesn't make you a Christian any more than going to a garage makes you an automobile. Exactly. It's it's what you do exactly. in that church and what you do in your heart that makes you the Christian. So quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Comes your way, courtesy of GenesisGoldIRA.com. I uh, love this story. Maryland mom opens a smoothie shop that offers jobs to people with special needs. This is really a neat idea. Uh, this is because she has two boys with special needs and she was trying to find a place for her boys to work, and there was no opportunities for them. Right. So even though that's not her background, she's a 15-year real estate agent. So 15 years as a real estate agent. And Monique Soto Marino opened that smoothie place to give jobs and internships to anyone with special needs. Now, she partners with Montgomery County Public Schools by providing internships and providing jobs. And here's a quote from her. She said, I didn't want to focus on higher functioning individuals, but on individuals of all abilities and give them the opportunity to try this place out. She said, sometimes it takes a little longer to get your smoothie, so they provide entertainment at the tables. There's games and things to do there. Right, okay. She said, I love to see families come in and put down their phones and actually focus on the games. Yep. She said, I even have families that switch tables. They they go to a different table and play a different game because I think the games are like built into the top of the table. Oh, okay. Her goal is to bring that smoothie place to other cities in the future so they could partner with other districts and do the same kind of thing. I think that's really neat. That really is. So again, this is in, uh, where is this? In Maryland. And I'm going to put a link to it. You can see the video and see the story and all the details in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday.